I'm out in Beaver Ranch Park in Jefferson County, Colorado. And you know what? There's a couple of caches to find here in the park. There needs to be a few more, I think. Let's go. It was a bit of a climb to get up here on my bicycle, but I made it. There's a nice uh, clearing here, and there's a cache nearby. So let's see, you're out in the woods. Where would be a good place to hide a cache? Maybe by a log, or a big rock, or a stump. So what's it gonna be? Well, it's over here to, in that direction. So let's take a look. There's a log. Let's see if it's in the log somewhere. GPS actually points a bit to the right. And sure enough, here's a stump. Let's take a look at the stump. Oh, hey, okay, there it is. That cache made a good find. There's one other cache to find here. It's one I have found once before, some years ago. But I'm gonna take a look again today, just for fun. And then I'll look for some good places to find or rather to place my three new caches. Not today. No logs or stumps near ground zero for this cache, but the other option, of course, is rocks like these right here. Let's take a look. Oh, I bet this is it. There it is. I'm going to see if I can find my log and see when I signed it. This cache has two signatures from this year, 2022, and I see my stamp right there. And that was from 2010, so it's been 12 years since I was here. Since I logged a find on this cache back in 2010, I'm not going to log another find for this year, but I will log a note stating that I did visit the cache and let them know that everything is fine with it. It's a good practice to do if you ever visit a cache a second time. I have reached the general area of where I want to place this cache. So I'm looking for a good spot. I'm not usually crazy about juniper hides but I think that's what I'm going to do right in here here's the cache I'm going to place it in this juniper over here I also put a travel bug in it for the first to find to make use of if they so choose this cache is called Eddie remember the leave it to beaver show Eddie Haskell you look very nice today Mrs. Cleaver I don't want to make this too hard, so it's just going to go right on in here. And the hint is going to have something to do with this branch hanging down that practically points right at it. So it should be fairly easy to find, even, even though it's in one of those pokey juniper bushes. This next cache I'm going to hide is a regular size, and this looks like it might be a good spot for it. Uh-oh, more junipers. Nice rock and some sticks. I'm thinking right back in there. There's a bunch of these cute little rubber duckies going in this cache. Plus, two nice travel bugs. And I found a good spot for it. It's going to go right in here. And there's a bunch of sticks to cover it up with.
pretty good, I think. Now I have to grab a waypoint, or maybe two or three, and pick the best one, and then I'll log it on the website. If you happen to come out and find these caches, you'll be using this trail for half the loop, and this trail for the other half. This type of cache is ideal for hanging in a tree somewhere, so there's a million trees around here, but I had a hard time finding just the right one. But this is it, right behind me. Can you see the cache from here? Hopefully not. Don't want it to be too visible, but let's take a closer look. There we go. This cache is called Wally, which is another character from Leave it to Beaver. That was Beaver's older brother, Wally. The bike ride around the loop was just over four miles, it turns out. And this is a great park. I only saw two people on the trail, and they were both hiking. No other bikes at all in here. It's a Friday today, so maybe that's why not being a weekend. The route I took was basically this trail all the way around. I'm right at the base of one of the zip line. I did see uh, two vans heading up with a bunch of people to go zip lining today. I think I'll try that sometime. If you like this video, please click the like button down below and also please subscribe to my channel. It's been a great day of geocaching, both finding and hiding, and I hope to see you again in another video sometime soon. Until then, Take care, everybody, and see you down the trail. So long.